Hello, dear students. Um, I am Dr. Mazhar Ali, and I welcome you back to uh, my course, Introduction to Computers. Uh, today, we will discuss the output devices of the computer machine. Uh, the reference book is uh, Introduction to Computers, 6th uh, edition of 7th uh, edition, written by Peter Norton. Uh, so, uh, Input device uh, uh, is a, any piece of uh, computer hardware equipment that uh, converts information into human readable form. So it can be a text, graphics, audio, video, etc. Uh, there are some of the output devices are a visual display unit, mostly called the monitor, uh, printers, routers, speakers, uh, projectors, etc. So we discuss all these uh, output devices in today's. Uh, lecture uh, let me full uh, screen the result so there are two uh, main categories of the output devices are two main types of the output devices the number one is a soft copy output uh, devices uh, means the devices which provide uh, output uh, in a soft uh, which provides soft uh, output and second uh, type of category is a uh, hard copy output devices which provide output into uh, hard copies so uh, the so soft copy output devices uh, are mostly the display units and uh, sound uh, providing uh, output devices the sound output devices uh, or uh, video output devices are uh, significant output devices uh, for the uh, computer systems. Uh, these devices provide the output of audio signals uh, as well as uh, the output of the other things like the text, graphics, videos, and so on. So we will discuss um, uh, the devices uh, which provide the soft copy uh, output. Uh, the soft copy providing output devices are several, but the main and the basic output devices which provide output as a soft copy is called the monitor. Uh, mostly, it is also uh, mostly called the display unit, the screen, and monitor as well. So, a monitor is a basically display device. Uh, the most common form of the output device it presents. Uh, output visually on the screen. The output appears uh, temporarily on the screen and um, can easily be altered or erased. So it is uh, referred to as a soft copy uh, output as well. So uh, this display device uh, for a desktop PC is uh, called a monitor. Even uh, for the laptop computer, it is also called the monitor. The monitor is also called a display unit, as I told you before our screen. So display devices are also used in um, home entertainment systems, uh, all the entertainment systems, mobile systems, cameras, video games, um, and etc. So display devices from uh, images uh, uh, by uh, lighting up the proper configuration of pixels. And uh, in short, uh, the display devices are organized in the form of pixels. And the pixels are arranged in the form of matrix, a two-dimensional matrix that is organized as uh, uh, rows and columns. So if you look at your monitor or display unit, you will um, find a screen. That screen uh, is uh, used to show the output. So that output is, um, uh, or that screen is uh, basically a matrix that is a uh, combined, uh, consisted of the rows and columns. The standard rows are, uh, 80 and the standard columns are uh, 24. So, sorry, the standard columns are 80s and the rows are 24. So, there are two types of uh, monitor. They are, uh, if you look here, the mono monochrome monitors and the color uh, monitors. Uh, we will discuss these both categories in detail, but at this stage, uh, the monochrome monitors actually display two colors. One for the foreground, that is means uh, coming on the cement, like this uh, text is a foreground uh, color. And one for the background, that is the, this white screen, that is the background uh, 
color. So the colors can be uh, black and uh, white uh, for, for the monochrome uh, monitors or sometimes the green and uh, black. So since the uh, color uh, monitor is a display device capable of uh, displaying many colors, the color monitors can uh, display anywhere from 16 to over 1 million different colors. So if we go in the depth of the monochrome, monochrome monitor, uh, monochrome monitor is a type of CRT, uh, the cathode row tube computer display, which was uh, very common and popular uh, in early days of computing, especially from the 1960s to 1990, even the late 90s. The most important uh, component in the monitor was the picture tube. But even we were, uh, we had been uh, using the these uh, monochrome or the cathode ray tube uh, based monitors, um, even uh, for till the 2004-2006. After 2006, uh, uh, we have uh, changed our monitors to LCD monitors, and the. <clears throat> color monitors are uh, sometimes called the RGB monitors because uh, they accept three separate sign signals or colors. Those co colors are RGB. RGB means red, green, and blue. R for red and G for green and uh, B for blue. So color monitors um, implement the RGB color model by using uh, three different uh, fast force uh, that appear uh, red, green, and blue when uh, activated. Uh, by placing the uh, fast force directly next to each other and activating them uh, with different um, intensities, uh, intensities <coughs> uh, the color monitors can uh, create an unlimited number of colors. So in practice, however, the real number of colors that any monitor can display is controlled by the video adapter. So that is available in the computer system. And another color is a gray scale. Now the gray scale is basically a group of shades uh, without any visible uh, color. So on a monitor, each pixel of uh, gray scale display uh, carries an amount of light uh, uh, ranging from the weakest amount of light or black to the strongest amount of light or uh, white. So on a computer display, images are uh, composed of pixels. Means what we get the result uh, in form of image, there is a pixel, means the dots. So which are pixels are the comprised of, uh, in color monitors or in the, even the gray, are the comprised of the red, uh, one green and uh, one blue. So each of uh, these dots has its uh, brightness level as well, and therefore can be converted to grayscale. So grayscale is nothing uh, some the special color, but uh, these are some shades. So now we will discuss the CRTs, uh, means the cathode ray tube. Uh, the cathode ray tube is a basically vacuum tube. If you look here, uh, this is the vacuum tube. Uh, this, this one is a uh, vacuum tube, uh, which is uh, used to display images. So CRTs or cathode ray tubes are large, bulky, and heavy, uh, like conventional or old television, uh, because old televisions also used the CRT technology only to display the uh, television films or television images. If you ask your parents, they will tell you about the old televisions because you are, uh, even if you have uh, seen those televisions are very large, bulky, and they were not uh, using the uh, some liquid crystals, but they were using the cathode ray uh, tubes. So to form the image on the screen, that how cathode uh, uh, cathode ray tube give you the result, give you the output. So to form the image on the uh, any computer screen or on the even on the television, so an electronic gun, electronic gun uh, is used by the cathode ray tube. So this this is the electronic gun. This is the electronic gun. Uh, so that that gun is a sealed inside a large uh, glass tube. If you look here, this is a glass tube and this is a uh, attached with, uh, with this tube. 
And now this gun or uh, fires. Well, why it fires? Because it's uh, attached with the electricity, so it fires the electrons. Uh, it's a uh, fast forward screen. Uh, here, if you look, this is the fast force screen. So this electronic gun fires the electrons at this fast uh, force screen. It's behind this screen. Uh, when it uh, um, uh, fires electrons at a fast force uh, coated screen, to light up the appropriate pixels in the appropriate color to display images. Means that when we input the data or video or image and um, after the uh, some necessary processing, CPU sends to the operating system and then operating system send uh, to the screen as the output. So there's data came here and this electronic gun fires uh, that get the data basically converted into electronic signals and this electronic gun fires uh, those electronic signals to the screen uh, where the fast force uh, uh, were attached so that screen uh, receives uh, the, those uh, electronic signals uh, into darts or into pixels and slowly those darts uh, or pixels are shown to the user that make some image or video or some text it means that gives the soft output to the user uh, so <clears throat> the fast force glow only for a, a limited time after the exposure of the electrons means when it uh, receives the electrons. Therefore, the monitor uh, image must be uh, redrawn or refreshed continuously uh, to show the results. So typically the ref uh, refreshment rates are between 60 and 85 times in a second. In the cathode ray tube, they are refreshing their screens from 60 to 85 times within a second that user uh, may get a proper result. But after time, uh, the screens have changed. The cathode ray, cathode ray tubes have changed. No doubt cathode ray tubes were good at that time. But there were some disadvantages, some losses of uh, those cath uh, cathode ray tubes uh, as well, because they were um, emitting the raises as well, which uh, may be the disadvantages or uh, dangerous for the eyes of uh, human or the skin of the human. So after the um, cathode ray tubes monitors, fillet screens uh, came into being. But the fillet screen means that. Uh, Fillet panel monitors. So these monitors have uh, uh, used uh, uh, some. Uh, mostly these monitors are using nowadays. These are the portable uh, computer output devices or the output monitors, and uh, use the, the means uh, these monitors, uh, these displays are gaining um, popularity even nowadays. They are very much popular. So people are not using the CRTs or cathode ray tube monitors or cathode ray tube based monitors, but mostly people are using the LCDs. And that's why these are very much popular in the market and among the people. So these new monitors provide the same <coughs> viewable area as a CRT monitors, but they take less desk space and uh, run a cooler than the uh, traditional CRT monitors. Moreover, uh, these uh, the LCDs are taking even not only the less desktop uh, desk space, but they are even um, consuming the less uh, electricity. And, uh, since the uh, CRTs were taking more electricity, consuming more electricity, but these are taking very little uh, uh, amount of the electricity. So there are several types of um, fillet panel monitors, but uh, the most common uh, monitors are uh, liquid uh, crystal displays, mostly called the uh, LCDs monitors. So LCD monitor uh, creates images uh, with a special kind of uh, liquid crystal that is uh, normally transparent, but becomes uh, opaque uh, when charged with the electricity. So, if we look here, uh, 
Yeah, so it, it's a, in, even in the silver, it is a commonly found on the laptops, not only on the laptop, but the desktop computers are using the LCDs uh, nowadays because it solves the problems of CRT. It takes, uh, consume the waste electricity. These monitors are not dangerous for our eyes and even our skins. So <clears throat> these uh, liquid crystal uh, displays are basically uh, uh, flat panel displays. So that uses the light modulating uh, uh, properties of uh, liquid crystals combined with the polar, uh, polarizers. So liquid crystals do not um, emit light directly as the uh, CRTs are emitting light. So they are using a um, backlight or uh, reflector to produce images in color or in uh, uh, monochromes. So LCDs are used in a wide range of applications, including the LCD television, very common nowadays, and computer monitors, instrument panels, aircraft, uh, cockpit displays, and et cetera. So small LCD screens are common in the portable consumer devices, such as a digital camera, PDAs, watches, calculators, and mobile telephones, including the smartphones, which we are commonly using. So, uh, more well, the uh, LCD screens are also used on uh, consumer electronics products such as the DVD players, video game devices, and uh, time clocks as well. So LCD screens have uh, also, uh, it's a big advantage of uh, LCD screen that uh, it has replaced the highly bulky uh, cathode ray tube mo based monitor. That may be the computer uh, uh, television displays at that time, but now the LCDs have replaced them with the in form of television, in form of the computer monitor as well as the uh, laptop computer monitor. Therefore, the, these screens uh, means the LCD screen is more energy efficient than the CRT and can be disposed uh, of more safely than a CRT can. As I told you that CRT, CRT was the dangerous to uh, eyes and skin as well. But the, the, the uh, LCDs are not uh, uh, dangerous. Their <coughs> output is uh, very soft and they does, uh, these uh, screens do not uh, emit the rays, which may be dangerous for uh, eyes and screens. So it's a low electrical power consumption, uh, enables it to be used in a, a battery powered electronic equipment uh, more essential, efficiently than a CRT can be. Then uh, another monitor, that is a special type of the monitor called the paper white monitor, a high uh, quality monochrome monitor that displays uh, characters in a black against uh, a white black. Such monitors are uh, popular for the desktop, desktop publishing because uh, they mostly uh, uh, closely uh, mimic real paper with a black type. So some manufacturers make a distinction between uh, normal white background monitors and the paper white monitors, where the background is uh, slightly uh, tinted, more uh, like uh, bounded paper. So uh, these uh, monitors, these are paper white monitors, uh, are uh, sometimes uh, uh, used by uh, document designers, but mostly used by the document designers, such as a desktop publishing uh, specialists, uh, newspapers, or uh, magazine compositors, and um, other uh, persons who uh, create high quality printed uh, documents. So a paper white uh, display produces a very high uh, contrast between the uh, monitors. Uh, monitors are like the white background. If you look here, it's the white background and um, a display the text or graphics, uh, uh, which you appear in a black if even you look here. So though it's not the paper white uh, display, but the printers, uh, publishers, uh, newspaper uh, companies are using this type of the monitor. This is a special type of the monitor. As we already uh, 
learned and discussed several times that even the computers are uh, some special types and general types, even the computer applications are, are also special types and general types. So the monitors are also uh, special types and general types. The paper white displays are some sort of the special whites. Uh, and um, LCD version of the paper white uh, display is called uh, a page white display. Nowadays, this type of the white uh, display are using page white displays. So page white display utilizes a special technology called the superest to create the higher contrast. So these are not the common monitors, but uh, used some of the special firms, organizations, especially the publishing house, houses for their uh, document settings. Another <coughs> type of the monitor uh, is the plasma monitor. So a plasma monitor was a plasma display. Uh, uh, this one is a, it is a, a computer video display in which each pixel on the screen is uh, illuminated by a tiny bit of a plasma or a charged gaze even. So somewhat like a tiny uh, neon light plasma displays are thinner than the uh, cathode ray tube uh, displays and uh, even the brighter than the uh, liquid uh, displays because uh, uh, there are some disadvantages and of the LCDs and one disadvantage of the LCD monitor is that uh, their images can be uh, difficult to see in the bright light uh, as well as a uh, viewing angle that is a uh, angle from which uh, uh, the displays or image can be viewed uh, clearly. So with CRT monitors, you can see the images clearly, even um, when the extending at uh, an angle to the screen and same, the plasma monitors also give you a, a very good view of the screen or the output uh, than the uh, LCD monitor. So basically, uh, when we get the soft um, output through the monitors and video cards, so the monitors give you output according to their uh, pixels. That is called the resolution. Resolution means the, how much num uh, the number of pixels on the screen. If the number of pixels uh, is uh, higher or more, on the screen, then the image will be shown to you in a very good way. Even if uh, you will large, uh, uh, enlarge the image, it will not uh, break. But if there is a low number of the pixels, uh, if an image is uh, stored with the low number of pixels, then if when will you in, enlarge that image, then it will it will uh, break. So the image or video even. It, if the pixels are high or there is a more number of the pixels, then the video result will be good and uh, even the image result will be good. So higher number creates the sharper image. If, the, the, if there is a higher number of the pixels, then the image will be sharp. And uh, also even um, you may get a uh, very good result. Even you may uh, small, uh, those, those, even the smaller image may give you the very good result. But if the uh, lower number of, uh, if, if you lower the number of pixels, then you cannot get the sharper or uh, image. So uh, resolution may be good if you increase the number of uh, pixels. So when you save, uh, you must see that how much pixels are there. So even the re refreshing rate, as we discussed in the cathode ray tube, uh, that uh, monitors are uh, refreshing their cells uh, time to time. So from 60 to 85 times a uh, cathode ray tube uh, refresh within a second. But nowadays you see uh, monitors are latest and they are automatically uh, refreshing their uh, cells. So even user cannot uh, feel that uh, because you see the different shapes uh, different, if you are seeing, watching videos, their videos are down with the proper motion, so, but you don't feel that is the aesthetic. So nowadays, monitor provide you the dynamic results with, with the automatic refreshing capability. Now, how we get the video results? There are some video cards. 
so video card is also got the display card graphic card and the display adapter adapter or graphic adapter it is an expansion card which generates a feed of output images to a display device such as a computer monitor so most video cards are not limited to a simple display output they have integrated graphics processor uh, can perform additional processing processing uh, removing this task from the central processor of the cpu because uh, these uh, nowadays all the uh, graphic adapters are uh, coming with a uh, built in cpu they don't bound the central processing unit to process this data they process all the um, graphic input so usually the graphics card is uh, made in the form of a printed circuit uh, board uh, also called the expansion board and inserted uh, into the <coughs> into the motherboard what we call it into motherboard now uh, some other the old motherboards uh, with the exp uh, expansion slots but now these are the universal of uh, usb based or the some specialized agp or pci expresses so and uh, some have been uh, made using a uh, dedicated enclosures uh, uh, which are connected to the computer via a docking station or a cable i mean some uh, graphic cards are uh, uh, connected to the docking station or a cable so these are known as uh, external gpus as well so what is uh, docking station uh, in a computing a docking station or a port replicator port replicator that is also called the hub or a dock uh, provides a simply fight way of plugging in that how you should uh, plug the this expansion card or graphic card with the computer so a laptop computer to common peripherals even as well so even you how you should um, connect this uh, device expansion card with the desktop computer or even the uh, laptop uh, computer so the docking uh, station provide you a type of the facilities because a wide range of uh, dockable devices from mobile telephones to wireless mice uh, have a uh, different connectors uh, also the power signals and use so docks are not standardized and are therefore uh, often designed to, uh, or with a specific type of the device in, in the mind so as per the requirement of device and one another term we have used here the egpu the external graphic uh, uh, processing unit so it is an basically idea that has been floating around the uh, either of uh, internet for years and in the r and d department r and d means research and development departments of a video card manufacturers uh, for even longer so without getting too technical about it the general concept uh, involved uh, in our looking up uh, a regular laptop to an external graphic card through a single cable so which can um, then take uh, all uh, of the load of uh, your laptop's uh, Uh, internal gpu which is uh, attached with the motherboard and uh, put it on the uh, more powerful extension instead so these are the some external devices uh, which uh, may you uh, facilitate uh, which facilitate you in providing more graphics for example you are playing game uh, you are working on some graphic softwares or uh, making some videos you need such a type of the graphics that provide you uh, more um, uh, facilities even if you attach the egpu then uh, it will not burden on the internal gpu so that will be easy It means the cpu of your system will not take more burdens but the egpu can perform all the input video graphics inputs and give a results to the cpu that the operating system can show the user and so when we are using the monitors we will have to be uh, careful like uh, as we discussed in the previous lecture on input devices human computer interaction should be proper and ergonomics is a basically study of uh, human computer interaction that how human uh, should interact with the computers if you will not interact uh, 
computer in a proper way, def then definitely you will face some problems, some diseases. So in the output devices, even you have to take care of your eyes as well. Because uh, if you will look continuously at the uh, screen, definitely your eyes will be fatigued. And uh, if you will uh, keep the monitor nearby your uh, eyes, definitely your eyes not only be fatigued, but may suffer from different eye diseases. So nowadays, what people are doing, especially the people who are playing game, they are keep the mobile phone or laptop near to their eyes. This is a very much loss for your eyes. So please avoid such practices. Choose a good monitor when you are working on computer. And the place the monitor two to three feet away from your eyes, even if you are using the mobile, mobile should not be nearby the eyes, but it should be two to three feet away from your eyes. And the central screen uh, should be at below the eye. If it will be high, then definitely your neck may suffer. And your neck may uh, suffer from different uh, and even diseases. And uh, what we are doing, we are uh, using the monitors or mobiles in different postures that may uh, generate some problems with you, even the back ache, uh, back ache, uh, neck ache, and other diseases. And you, and if you will keep the monitor of a computer or laptop or the mobile uh, smartphones nearby your eyes, definitely your eyes may suffer and several problems may be uh, generated. And avoid the reflected light as well. Sometimes uh, what happens, we watch the um, uh, videos with the uh, reflected light. Uh, reflected light is uh, very much dangerous for your eyes. So avoid it as well. So ergonomics tell you how to interact with the computer machines. Okay, Jeev. so we are still discussing the soft copy output devices. So after the monitors, there is another output device that is called the projector. Projectors are of different types. Nowadays, the projectors are um, coming with a very good facilities, but um, initially the projectors were not uh, easy and fine, and those were very difficult to use, and no doubt the costly as well. Their cost was high as well. So initially we were using the uh, slide projector or overhead projector. Vector, projector. So slide projector is an auto mechanical device. If you look here, this is a slide projector. It is a, an auto mechanical device for showing photographic slides. These are the photograph slides which we insert in the uh, projector. So these projectors first came into wide displays uh, during the 1950s. These uh, came and uh, were using widely. Uh, so uh, the photograph film, uh, if you look here, this is a photographic film slide and the projectors uh, have uh, mostly been replaced by the image files on digital storage media shown on a uh, projection screen by using a video projector or simply displayed on a uh, large screen video monitors. The slide projectors were not only using by the organizations for their presentations and different work, for example, in the industries and the companies, people were used to show their progress and their work using the slide projectors. But even the people were using the slide projectors uh, at their homes as well. They were showing their uh, films, photos uh, through uh, this projector to their family or guests. I mean, the, their uh, marriage ceremony photos, their other function photos uh, through this. So this was the symbol of his status at that time. The rich men were purchasing this type of the project and keeping it their homes. But nowadays, the projectors are not too much costly, so everyone can purchase. But at this time, uh, this was the symbol of uh, status. Uh, different companies and people were using these projectors. <clears throat> so the LCD has replaced uh, this projector. An LCD projector is a type of a video projector for displaying video images or computer data on a screen or other flat surface. Um, 
so it is a modern uh, equipment equivalent of the slide project this is a modern equipment but it's equivalent to, to slide projector and uh, or the overhead projectors uh, to display the images lcd lcd if you remember i told you it is a liquid uh, crystal display uh, the lcd projectors typically send light from a metal head uh, they send light from the metal head lamp through a prism uh, or uh, may you call it the series of uh, dichroic filters that uh, separates light uh, to three uh, polysilicon panels so one is for the red green and blue components of the video signal so as a polarized uh, light passes through this uh, the panel uh, panel that is the combination of the polarizer lcd panel and the analyzer um, individual pixels can be uh, opened to light to allow light to pass or close to uh, block the light so combination of open and closed pixels can produce a wide range of color and shades in the project images so what happened in this project is attached to the computer machine that may be the desktop or the laptop or others but here if you see these uh, slide projectors were not um, attached with the computer the uh, slide films were inserted into it and uh, then uh, these projects were giving the result if the slide uh, uh, film was uh, dirty or some with some problem or a scratch then it will not give the result but it is not happening with uh, this type of the uh, projectors so you prepare your uh, powerpoint presentations or uh, movies or um, song or, or anything and keep it on your computer's uh, hard drive and attach this um, uh, projector with your computer and uh, turn on it so it will uh, make a image through uh, emitting light from here there is a prism so when you start your presentation then this uh, will be the output device like a monitor so if uh, as you show your results on the monitor because monitor is a little and it cannot satisfy the majority of uh, the people available in a, at a single class for example you are taking class or you are presenting your work or your research or, or sometimes your progress in the industries and offices so there are several numbers and you want to show your presentation your work your progress your research so you will attach this um, project with your computer and run your presentation or other videos and this will uh, emit this light and that light basically of the electronic signals of your data which you are presenting from your system so those uh, data was converted into some uh, computer codes uh, which are processed by the cpu and the cpu send that uh, code to the operating system and operating system show the results through uh, <coughs> lcd projector and lcd lcd projector uh, converts uh, those electronic signals into the original data which you are want to show to your audience so for this purpose you need some the white screen or some lcds or some white type of the area where these light uh, at <coughs> flow and when this light flow then it will show the results another type of the data projector is a digital light projector mostly called the dlp it is um, also the type of the projector but it is different than the lcd projector so the dlp or the digital light processing uh, projector is a basically a set of the chip sets based on a, uh, optimal micro electro uh, mechanical technology that uses a digital micro mirror uh, device or oh, this one <clears throat> so a dlp is used in a, a variety of display applications from traditional static displays to interactive displays and also non traditional embedded uh, application applications including the medical uh, security and industrial uses as well so dlp technology is used in a dlp front projectors uh, likewise uh, standalone projection units for classrooms for example you are uh, 
showing some data, some presentation to your class, so you may use it as a standalone device. And uh, <coughs> even uh, for uh, the other things as well, for example, uh, the television, as a, even in the cinema, what happened, they are using the uh, DLPs. So, uh, because uh, it is uh, also used, 85% uh, it is used uh, uh, in a digital cinema projection. Nowadays, the cinemas are digital, and uh, those digital uh, cinema are projecting the movies uh, through the uh, DLP, digital light processing projector. So, it, not the 100%, but majority of the digital cinemas, uh, or the cinemas who are digital, are using these DLPs. So, the difference between the DLP and LCD projectors is uh, the DLP uh, uses a chip made of uh, tiny microscopic mirrors and uh, spinning uh, color wheel to create an image. On the other hand, LCD projectors, projectors uses the uh, liquid crystal displays. The LCDs are not using the uh, microscopic uh, mirrors or chips, but they are using the liquid crystals uh, displays that have uh, no moving parts. And uh, those, uh, those are generally less expensive than the DLPs. DLPs are costly, but the LCD projectors are not costly. And moreover, the LCD projectors have a sharper uh, image and a superior picture quality. So DLP projectors are lighter, portable, and considered to be uh, more reliable. Uh, the distance range, distance range of the LCDs is uh, not too long, but it is, it is a little. Therefore, the result um, comes with a very sharp image. But the distance range of the DLP is uh, large. Therefore, the image is uh, not as much sharp as of the uh, LCD projector. So these are the types of projectors which are used to present your data, uh, presentations, your work, your research, and other things. So an another output is a sound. That is also soft copy output. That is also sound which we hear through the speakers. So to use the sound, uh, means even if you, we want to make uh, input of the sound and if we want to make the uh, get the output of the sound we have to use some sound cards as we were using the graphic card for the graphic videos and uh, the output on the screens so if <clears throat> for the sound systems we have to use the sound cards so these uh, sound systems are integral part of the computer computer systems and capable of recording and playback as well the sound card is basically a system of electronic equipments for recording or reproducing audio systems. Um, originally, the computer's audio was a, a simple bail when it was developed through the computer programmers or the computer engineers. It was simple bail like the ding. So when the first uh, microcomputer came out in the 1970s, they had small tiny speakers to emulate the bell. Uh, but uh, uh, even uh, uh, if the computer programmers who are working in the C or other, so at the initial level, they are generating some sort of the sound in C language or in other languages. But um, what happened? Because initially the computer were just producing the simple bell ding. But uh, computer hobbyists, uh, of the computer users wanted their machine uh, to do more than just go beep. So today's PCs have a uh, complex audio abilities. You will find uh, built into the chipset on the motherboard, uh, a specialized sound circuitry, including a, a complete uh, music synthesizer. Uh, the computer can even talk with you. A computer can sing, a computer can play. So, um, and yes, even did uh, like a bell as well. So the, now the computer is a totally changed than the previous or the early computer. It can uh, do everything which you want. So nowadays, even the laptop and the desktop computers have a built-in integrated uh, speakers, usually uh, small uh, and of the restricted sound quality to conserve the space. 
So instead of uh, using a computer speaker for a better sound, a computer can be connected to any external sound system, typically a high power, uh, high quality setup as, as well. So what I told you that for the sound system, a computer is using the sound card. So a sound card is also known as an audio card, is in a basically internal expansion card is for the graphic uh, outputs. We are using the graphic card or graphic ad adopters. So for the sound, we are using the internal expansion card that is called the sound card that provides input and output of the audio signals to and from a computer under control of uh, computer programs is the graphic cards were uh, giving you facilities of input and output. Same, the sound card is a provide you facility of input and output at the same time. But uh, these all this card is controlled by the computer system. And the sound functionality can also be integrated onto the motherboard uh, using the components similar to those found on plug-in cards. The integrated uh, sound system is often still, uh, referred to as a sound card. So uh, this device, uh, basically sound card uh, is a device and it is working between the, um, the uh, it facilitates the computers to provide the output to the users. And it also facilitates the computer to take input of the user. So, <clears throat> The sound processing hardware, therefore, the sound processing hard hardware is also present on modern video cards, uh, which we are using. Because you see, nowadays, computers are day to day going to reduce. Now, uh, computer, the heavy computer is uh, reduced to the smartphone, even, or the notepad as well. So, what happens? All the sound cards and video cards are merged with each other. But how they are uh, integrated with the help of HDMI. HDMI stands for the uh, high definition multimedia interface uh, used to output sound along with the video using the connector. Means if you are watching the movie, if you are, for example, watching this video, now you are video watching the text rights as well, like here, and hearing my sound. So this is a video, but this video is inputted by the video card that is a combination of the video adapter and the sound adapter. So it gives you the output. So what is HDMI that integrates these two cards, that means video and audio card. So HDMI are the high definition multimedia interface that is also a connector. Basically it is a proprietary audio video interface for transmitting uh, uncompressed uh, video data and a compressed or uncompressed digital audio data from an HDMI uh, component source uh, device. So uh, such as a display controller uh, to a compatible uh, computer monitor, uh, video projector, digital television or a digital audio device. So HDMI, is a digital replacement for analog video standards. Means it converts the analog sound, analog video sound into digital. So typical uses of sound card functionality, uh, functionality include the providing the audio component for multimedia applications such as the music composition, editing, uh, video editing or the audio editing, the presentation, uh, education and entertainments, even the games and the video projections, etc. So sound cards, are, sound cards are also used for the computer-based communication as well, such as um, voice over the IP and the teleconferencing. For example, you are uh, connecting the people through WhatsApp, you are connecting the people through uh, Facebook Messenger and other source of the connecting messengers. What happens, uh, you are inputting the data through the video ca sound cards uh, and um, the other one who is uh, hearing your sound that is also uh, using these cards, even the video calls by using the inputting through the video cards and outputting also through the 
video cars so these cars are very important and they are connected definitely to the computers or the other several devices as well for example with the uh, mobile phones or with the computers uh, uh, with the desktops and so on so the initially the card was in this shape then definitely it uh, developed and come into another shape and now our laptops are using such type of the these um, sound cards and these are the external sound card as you just uh, attach the with the laptop or computer through the usb port and you you may use the, it as a sound card so no doubt technology is developing day to day and um, it is converted the whole world into globe and the future is a more uh, are definitely fast and um, different so let's see how technology develops and how we will use the technology it depend on both of us if we will not uh, use the technology with the proper way definitely we will take a loss uh, or we will be the slave of technology but if we understand the technology and use the technology properly then we will not be the slave so um, discussing these all the things so even the these sound cards or the modern cards support the dolby sound uh, sound as well especially people are like such type of the sound sound as well another type of the <coughs> output that is also soft uh, output or soft copy output we when we hear the sound so we hear the sounds uh, through the speakers now speakers uh, uh, and uh, now these are some converted into headphones uh, through um, or the headsets so a headset is a basically essential a pair of headphones that include uh, sometimes microphone not every time but uh, some headphones are using the microphone uh, mic as well so a headphone or a headphones traditionally referred to a pair of small loud speakers if you look here these are the loud speakers loud speakers these are the loud speakers uh, in a pair so uh, which are worn on or uh, around the head or the uh, user's ear so headphones convert uh, an electrical signal to a, a corresponding sound because for example i am inputting the sound here that is my sound but it converted into electrical signals and when you receive again these electrical signals will be converted into my sound therefore a headphones let a single user uh, listen to an audio so source uh, privately in uh, contrast of a loud speaker which emits sound into the open air for uh, anyone nearby to hear so the speaker may disturb the others because it omits um, a sound in the air but headphone does not omit the sound in air but it uh, confined to your ear as well so therefore uh, headphone uh, maintains the privacy and does not uh, disturb the others so headphones are uh, made in a range of different audio uh, reproduction quality capabilities and uh, Uh, these uh, means the headphones uh, that use the cable typically some headphones are using the cable and um, the modern headphones are not using the cable but they are a uh, wireless so the headphones are designed for um, initially it, these were the designed for the telephone use typically but now uh, these headphones are uh, being used for different uh, even you use with your computer laptop you use with the, your mobile phone and um, other things as well so you hear different type of the songs even during the walk on the shop at other places when even you uh, hear the telephone calls in the data centers or at your home at different places these headphones are used so there are multi usage of uh, these headphones so due to the spread of wireless devices in uh, recent years headphones are increasingly used by people in public places such as the like if you are um, on the sidewalk or at a grocery store or at a public transit you may use even the wireless uh, uh, headphones without wire they are connected with your smart devices or laptops or computers through the bluetooth or other wireless uh, communication uh, protocols 
therefore headphones are also uh, used by the people in various professional uh, context such as uh, audio engineers mixing sound for live concerts or uh, sound recordings and DJs as well who use headphones to queue up the next song without the uh, audience hearing aircraft uh, even the headphones are used by the aircraft uh, pilots and uh, call center employees and some other people are using the headphones so these are the common and they have mostly replaced the speakers however the status of the replaced is also here people are using the speakers uh, if they want to hear a different type of the sound and they at home or at the uh, marriage ceremony other functions other concerts people are using the speakers as well but uh, headphones are also using so these are all about the uh, soft copy output by which we are uh, getting the soft output into soft way means <clears throat> we cannot touch these outputs but we, <clears throat> we can feel see watch hear as well now we will discuss some uh, how type of uh, the outputs as i told you there are two types of the outputs one is a soft copy output and the uh, second one is a uh, hard copy output so the printers is an um, important type uh, of the hard copy output there are different types of printers include uh, 3d printers uh, inkjet printers uh, laser printers thermal printers and etc so and uh, there are uh, again is uh, there are two types of the output so here also there are two types of the printers as well so one type is a called impact uh, printers uh, uh, this one and uh, other type is a called the non impact uh, printers so the primary difference uh, between the impact and the non impact printers is that impact printers involves the image uh, between the uh, Im means these are involved with some images which are produced uh, with the help of electromechanical impact devices but in non impact printers no mechanical impact device is used now, for example impact printers uh, are used printers which uh, are striking for character printing but uh, non impact printers are not uh, using such type of the striking keys so they print in a very soft way but uh, the impact printers print you feel something is striking for example if you press a then a will be printed again tron tron but soft uh, non impact printers does not show you such a type of the sounds as well so there are several types of uh, printers that, that i discuss with you and that come um, under these two categories such as the dot matrix uh, desi uh, desi wheel line printers are the uh, some types of the impact printers and on the other hand the inkjet printers uh, laser printers and plotters come under the category of non impact printers so uh, we will discuss uh, individual uh, these all types of the printers as well so the dot matrix uh, printers uh, Uh, very common printers and they still they are using in different organizations so hospitals uh, they used um, even in the shopping malls they are using the dot matrix because they are not costly so uh, if i define the dot matrix uh, printer it is a computer printer in which ink is applied to a surface uh, using uh, re relatively low resolution dot matrix is a for layout so <clears throat> dot matrix printers uh, typically use a print head uh, if you look here there is a print head uh, <clears throat> that uh, moves uh, back and uh, forth or in um, and uh, up and uh, down motions on the page and um, uh, prints by impact so impact means the uh, striking in ink soaked cloth ribbon uh, against the paper so much like the print mechanism on a typewriter or a line printers the perceived uh, quality of a dot matrix printers depends on the uh, vertical and the horizontal resolution and the ability of the printer to overlay adjacent dots 
So a dot matrix parameter uh, progress is a typically distinguished from non-impact methods such as inkjet, thermal, or uh, laser printing. Though uh, they too may use a bitmap to represent the uh, printed work, but uh, there is a still a status and value of the dot matrix uh, in shopping mall hospitals. Uh, Rapes, uh, which provide, means any organization which uh, provide your reports or the letters they are using. This uh, here the paper is uh, in a continuous form. Uh, since the non impact uh, type of the printers, papers are not in continuous form, but they are separate one by one. But here, uh, papers are outputting in continuous form. The inkjet uh, printing is a type of the computer printer that, uh, and non-impact printer definitely, that uh, uh, recreates a digital image uh, by pushing uh, droplets of the ink uh, onto paper and uh, plastic uh, sub, uh, substrates as well. <clears throat> so printers are the most uh, commonly used type of printer and uh, range from Similar and expensive consumer uh, models to expensive uh, professional machine as well. <coughs> so the concept of uh, inkjet printing uh, originated in the 20th century, and the technology was uh, first extensively uh, developed in the early 1950s. However, the emerging uh, inkjet material. Uh, Position uh, markers also uses inkjet technologies, typically uh, print uh, heads using the uh, piezoelectric crystals to deposit the material directly on uh, substrates. Now, what is uh, piezoelectricity? The piezoelectricity is uh, the electric uh, charge that um, accumulates uh, in a certain solid uh, material, such as uh, uh, crystals, uh, certain ceramics, etc. So in response to applied uh, mechanical stress, uh, the word uh, piezoelectricity means electricity uh, resulting from pressure and uh, latent heat. So these type of the printers are mostly using in the offices uh, for the good printing. Uh, this is a totally non-impact printer and inexpensive as well. So people are purchased and keep it at their home to take the necessary printings. For example, they are writing some letters or writing some applications for a job or for any other purposes. And these are the color uh, printers, the color printers, and using the cyan, magneta, yellow, and black colors. So definitely, uh, these colors, uh, they spray the ink of these colors onto paper for the purpose of printing. So speed, even the speed of these uh, printers measured in pages per minute, they are good, they are speedy printers, but less than laser printers and uh, more than the dot matrix printers. Even the quality expert is the dots per inch. So these are very good printers and um, commonly used at homes and uh, little businesses, little offices as well. <laughs> Another type of the hard copy uh, output and non-impact printers is a la laser printer, which is a non-impact printer. The laser printing uh, tool printer is a basically an electro, um, electrostatic digital printer. So it produces a high quality taste and uh, graphics uh, by, the, by repeatedly passing a laser beam back and forth over a negatively charged cylinder called a drum to define a different uh, charged image. So the drum then um, selectively collects electrically charged uh, powdered uh, ink. There's a powder in the drum, uh, or the, you may call it the ink that is called also the toner. And um, it transfers the image to paper, which is then uh, heated to permanently fuse the text imagery. So um, even the both to the paper. So as with the digital uh, photocopiers, uh, laser printers employ uh, a zero graphic uh, printing process. Uh, zero graphy or uh, electrography is uh, basically dry photocopying technique. So laser printing uh, devices or laser printers uh, differs from the traditional zerography is uh, implemented in analog photocopiers and that in the uh, late uh, 
uh, in the later, the image is uh, formed by reflecting light of uh, an existing document onto the uh, exposed drum. So these are very good uh, painters, and even the faster than previous other painters. Uh, and uh, in the end, that what happens, they uh, lay the drops of ink, therefore, uh, they take some time to, very little time to draw, even if you, they may spread and make the painting uh, bed. But uh, lasers, uh, painters are not. They uh, throw laser beams, uh, they paint, uh, and they're using the toner of the drum to use, uh, take some of uh, these electric signal, uh, signals. So the laser painters are produce high quality documents or high quality of printing. And um, color that these uh, laser printers are coming with is a color printer uh, as well as the black and white. Uh, and uh, mostly in the offices nowadays, people are uh, using the laser printers to take the quality as uh, output. So the print process laser uh, draws text on a page, toner sticks to text, uh, and the toner melted to pay, uh, page. Speed measured in the pages per minute, and the speed is higher than the ink jet and dot matrix. Even the quality expert is uh, dots per inch, and they, uh, those dots basically makes the words or images. So these are uh, very good printers uh, which are used as a uh, uh, output devices. So what we'll do when we uh, take the, uh, purchase the uh, printers, so because all in a one uh, peripheral, uh, for example, nowadays printers comes with the multiple uh, uh, peripherals. For example, if you purchase a printer, there may there will be the scanner, there will be the uh, copier, there will be the printer, as well as a uh, fax machine. So be, uh, now, before this, the printers were the separate, scanners were separate, copiers were separate. But now, if you purchase a printer with these, these all peripherals, you will find the scanner within the printer, the photocopier. Uh, within the printer, even printer is uh, itself, it is, and even it provides you facility of fix, you, uh, you may send the fix through that printer. So these are uh, very much popular in the offices. And prices are reasonable, not the high, because technologies are developing day to day and changes even day to day, therefore prices are not high at all. So comparing the printers, you must determine what you need. You purchase the printer according to your need. If your need is a dot matrix, you go for the dot matrix. If your need uh, is a for inkjet, then you go for inkjet and the same with the uh, other printers. So you must uh, look your, at your need and the cost. And there are some special purpose printers used by, for example, as we discussed, uh, used by the print sh shops. Output is uh, definitely uh, uh, professional and prints a variety of surface. If you look at the uh, printing shops or the printing industry, you will find there are different type of the printers, uh, which uh, print uh, in a different way. Even there, the pitch and the range is uh, very large. <coughs> So another printer is a, a photo printer. Photo printer is also uh, used by the professionals. It produces the film quality pictures. So this uh, printer, photo printer is a basically a printer designed to print an uh, extremely white uh, photo paper that is a coated to keep the ink from uh, simmering. So today, uh, many regular inkjet printers from uh, companies such as uh, Alpson, Canon, and HP uh, accommodate the heavier photo paper uh, stock and uh, uh, produce the excellent prints. So even see the digital cameras, photo scanners, and images. These all may be printed through the photocopier. All the uh, photo shops are uh, having uh, such type of the printers. Uh, they take use. Uh, they take the photos in a soft copy. Uh, through your memory card or other things and um, print uh, through these printers. So though these printers are very slow because you see uh, resolution of the photos is a very much high. 
so they may not uh, paint in a single way and they take more time and if the photo is a uh, colorful then definitely it will take more uh, time but uh, and even these uh, printers prints in a variety of the sizes now what type of the size you required this printer will print accordingly accordingly so these are the professional printers uh, which uh, are not uh, to available at the homes or some organizations but special organizations which are working on the photographs another type of the printer is a thermal uh, wax printers thermal wax printer is a printer that um, uh, adheres to a wax based in counter uh, onto paper so thermal uh, print head melts wax based ink from the uh, transfer ribbon onto the paper uh, unlike uh, thermal dye uh, which uh, transfer printers also called uh, dye uh, sublimation printers so direct thermal printers do not uh, use a separate uh, ink or a ton toner or a ribbon supply thermal transfer Uh, printers use the uh, thermal print head to transfer a uh, solid ink from a uh, ribbon onto a label supply usually made from uh, vinyl or uh, polyester sometimes nylon or other thicker materials to produce a uh, permanent uh, print so these are also uh, niche type of the products these are not common Uh, you this uh, type of the printers are using by some offices um, these printers like uh, provide some bold color like if you look here such type of the work is produced by through these printers so uh, operations cost definitely is low but output is also slow so not the common printer as we use the laser jet or ink jet or dot matrix the, these three printers are common but other ones which we discussed here are not common so another um, uh, type of the printer is a plotter uh, it is used for the drawing and other purposes so a plotter, plotter produces vector graphics drawing so it, mostly the scientific organizations are using the plotters so plotter draw lines on a paper using a pen different different type of the pens are there not the single pen but there are several pens with the different colors so in the past plotters were uh, used in applications such as a computer aided design but uh, as uh, they were able to to design drawing much uh, faster and um, of a high quality than the contemporary uh, conventional printers uh, small desktop plotters were also uh, often used for the business graphics and uh, new uh, nowadays plotters are replaced by the traditional printers so very little number of uh, such type of the printers are used nowadays because the latest computers have uh, replaced uh, computer printers have replaced them but previously they were using uh, used by the engineers especially the civil engineers uh, architects uh, and so on but nowadays there is a very little usage of such type of printers However, the large, um, high-quality blueprints, the prints, uh, are very much useful for the engineers and the organizations and the architects as well. <clears throat> Even the, if we look here, uh, there are different uh, printers according to uh, their usage. For example, the network or the shared printers. So these printers are uh, designed for. Uh, high volume high speed printing um, they are usually shared by uh, many users on a network and can print at uh, uh, speeds of uh, 45 to around 100 ppm uh, for example a barcode printer is also a computer peripheral for printing barcodes labels and um, take that can be attached to a Uh, printed directly on a physical objects a 3d printer is a device for making a three dimensional object from a 3d model uh, through uh, additive uh, processes in which um, a successive layer of a material including the plastics metals food cement wood and um, other materials are uh, laid down uh, under a computer control so it is uh, called a printer by uh, analogy with the 
an inkjet printer which uh, produces a two dimensional document by a similar process of the depositing a layer of uh, ink on the paper a virtual print printer is also here uh, when you uh, this type of the printer is uh, used with the operating system uh, when you don't have a printer and you want to uh, save the document in printed form then you save it uh, into the virtual printer and you may use uh, uh, when you want so again uh, the we discuss the output devices uh, with uh, the both categories of uh, output devices the soft copy in which we monitor so speakers and uh, video cards sound cards and other things we discussed and even in the hard copy format we discussed the printers hope this um, lecture will help you in understanding the importance and usage of output devices uh, we will um, discuss another topic of the introduction to computers in the next class so stay blessed stay at home and um, watch this lecture uh, at least two time to understand Thank you. Take care. Allah Hafiz.